Hey, good morning. Hey, to better control parts flying out of my Monarch 10 E when precariously holding things, I will use a guard. <laughs> I uh, kind of got out of the habit of using that, but I didn't expect uh, that four jaw to uh, lose grip on that uh, part. But things happen over 3000 RPMs. Uh, holding devices uh, don't hold so well sometimes. Okay, so a lesson learned there. And this is a great guard here. It's a Monarch item. It's even telescoping. Let me loosen these screws and I can demonstrate. Look at that. Yeah. All safe in there, we hope. Okay, we're going to go over to the bench here and I'll show you uh, the part. Hey, here it is. Here's the... Uh, ratcheting index that uh, I created. This is what flew out of the way of here. <laughs> At 3,400 RPMs. And I repaired the uh, <clears throat> oh, the bore. It, it had some pretty good marks in it. But uh, it's just fine. Now see, this part slips over this collar and this is a real snug fit that's why I was trying to uh, get a uh, close tolerance and I did okay I had to finish it by hand so this collar is a stop on the air spindle and it's precision made it's uh, the stock uh, Herod collar and it's honed so I thought it'd be a great idea just to slip an index over it. And this is actually an index to four positions. And I'll, I'll show that in a little bit, just exactly what's going on there. So anyway, <laughs> what I got to do is I got to have access to this lock screw. So I got to drill a hole for that. And uh, then I another hole or two for set screws to securely lock this on here. Now, I wanted this, you see how it's just a real nice fit. I wanted this to fit like that so it would, uh, you know, remain as accurate as, as, as possible. Okay, let's see if I can get that out of there. Hold on. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do next here. There we go. Now I gotta mark that. So let's see. I don't know what you can see. I have to look. I think you can see everything I'm doing here. Here's this uh, little granite block comparator thing that I put together, um, re put together or something. So I wanna drill that hole and I'm gonna use that fixture that I uh, did too in a minute. So I'm going to mark center on this, uh, on those ink spots. It's like even rub that one off a little bit. Okay. All righty. So I get that about center. I, uh, I got this little old time um, 10 inch stair at Vernier height gauge. And I brought it to the top here, then subtracted half the diameter. And uh, so that brings that to center. So now that I got it in a place where I can mark it, I'm going to go ahead and scribe it on the back there. Perfect. And here. And here. Help it move a little bit and make sure I got that. Okay, so we'll set that up. See? Okay. 
We'll set that up in the drill press. Okay, got a wiggler in the uh, drill press there. And let's see what I got. I can uh, straighten that wiggler up with. We'll try this. Okay, I'll turn it on. Usually uh, spits a little oil. I think it did. Okay, I'm just going to take and trim that little thing off. Get it right on my mark. That looks just really good. Get the clamp on it without disturbing it. It looks like they did. Everything feels good. Okay, I'll get a drill in there. Well, let's see if I can carefully get a hole in there. I hope I didn't block the view, but I just used the bit to start the hole, and I have to go pretty carefully. Oh. Very good. I'll probably add uh, maybe a set screw hole next here. Okay, lined up to do a, a set screw hole here. And I'll turn it on and do it. Oh, minor adjustment here. And use the wiggler on this. Whoop. And kind of creep down on you a little bit. That's good. Okay. Get that out of there. I'll put a cap in there, but I'm not going to turn the spindle on on this thing. <laughs> There we go. That's a pretty tough metal. This will make a nice uh, part here. There it is, it's through now. Get that installed. Okay, here's the flyaway part that has landed. This is this is what it's supposed to do. Get 24 positions, and it does just that. 
You can use this little finger here. But I'm also going to build a mount to install this more uh, uh, substantial uh, finger, that uh, ratchet. So, that's that. <laughs> okay, have a good one. I'll be back with something else soon.